Willkommen zu unserem Online Exklusiv heute mit Lars Haugen. Lars, thanks for coming. And in the first part of the interview, we talked about your current injury situation. Now let's talk about another thing. You, you cannot play right now. How, how, how hard is it for you just to watch the team, not to help them? Uh, it's, it's very tough. It's, really? It's a lot more. Uh, now I know what my mother said when she was watching my games. It's, <laughs> she's so nervous and I could never understand, but it's, <laughs> it's definitely tougher to watch. You're, uh, you don't have that feeling in the locker room and, and you just see like, oh, you're a lot more nervous. So it's, it's tougher, but it's, it's fun to see it from that perspective too and get you know, a different angle on, on everything that happens. You, you watch the games on TV, on Servus TV and on Sky? I've watched most games. Uh, some games I had to, to rest from, but, uh, okay. but um, yeah, I've been watching it, especially the last couple of games. It's been, been very fun to, with the derbies and, and everything. Uh, Lars, when do you expect to come back, to be back in Elana? Um, I'm hoping to be back uh, definitely uh, in a week, so next week some, somewhere. Um, we'll see, I'm back on the ice and, and you know, I've got to take it one day at a time. It's, it's kind of a different injury than, than if I'd broken my finger or something, mm -hmm. so it's have to be take uh, be a little more respectful and, and try to wait and be patient even though it's it's not my strength uh, <laughs> kinda, kinda have to it's it's important times that come up next with the playoffs and everything so it's better to take a day extra now than than later okay. you have to take your time yeah I guess so <laughs> yeah last let's talk about um, your time as a student you're still a student on the Osli University of economics and on Twitter I read something about your last exam, arithmetic for economics. It sounds so weird and tough. How is it? It's just like you said, it's <laughs> really? weird and tough. And it's, it's not my favorite, but you know, I have to have to do that too. Yeah. Uh, I'm currently studying uh, like immobilien kind of uh, yeah. stuff. So it's, um, you have to do economics too, I guess. So uh, <laughs> it's not my favorite, but yeah. I'm, I'm happy I'm, I'm finished with that and, uh, <laughs> and uh, hopefully some more, uh, more creative and, and fun subjects next. Is there a big goal after the career? After the career? Uh, no, not really. I haven't really... Uh, uh, hockey takes a lot of the focus, but um, I definitely like to, to study and get you know, a different perspective on, on the world and, and just my life in general to have... <laughs> can't just have focus on winning or losing, but have, a, have something else. So uh, I like that. And then I, I'm interested in Immobilien, but I'll, we'll see if, if that's what I become or if it's uh, something else. But uh, for sure, hockey will be in there <laughs> in the mix. And then we'll see. You have seen maybe Immobilie around uh, the Wörthersee? Yeah, for sure. It's, <laughs> Schloss it's Hotel? Lot. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> Would it be good? <laughs> it's, it's, it's a good job. <laughs> yes, good. <laughs> for sure, yeah. It's, no, it's, I think it's interesting. And <laughs> something I, I have a lot of interest for uh, personally. Yeah. Uh, except from hockey, that's probably one of my favorites. So, yeah. Let's talk about you. You're one of a few players here in Klagenfurt who are a father. There is a big difference than last year because your family was in Klagenfurt last year. Okay. And this year you have kind of a, yeah, a relationship, a far away relationship. How is it for you? Uh, it's been uh, tougher than I thought. Uh, okay. my, my wife and I had a, a distance relationship for, for many years, uh, four years in, in Russia and even two in Sweden, uh, which I mean, it was okay now with FaceTime and Skype and all this, but as soon as we got our son, we, we've been living together and enjoying it. But uh, so it's definitely a lot tougher now with, with, with the kid. So uh, they're having a good time in, in Norway and that's the most important thing, but it's, it's tough to, to see all you miss and all that stuff. But um, they're, they're doing great and they're coming here as often as they can. And okay. I go back as, as often as I can. So. Uh, it's been, it's been definitely tough, but it's, it's going all right. Okay, that's good. Good to hear. <laughs> and let's return to hockey. Let's, let's talk about the last season. It was a tremendously season for you with your big championship. You played so, so good. Is there any chance to repeat the success this year? Oh, definitely. I think we have a good chance. Uh, there's, 
think like last year there's four or five teams who can who can five six maybe who can uh, who have a realistic chance of winning uh, and you never know in playoffs there's so much with momentum and energy and experience, and experience <laughs> of course uh, but yeah we're I think maybe Red Bull and Vienna are a little bigger favorites right now but uh, I think we all believe in 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 our team and we we saw latest last year how we have a lot of players who who grow in those important moments so so I think we're we're very confident going in uh, but it's yeah we have to get there first but but I think uh, we have a lot of confidence in what we can do but we have to there's there's a lot of games coming going before that and so we have to it's going to be an important phase to kind of build both confidence in ourselves and the, the system we play but also to to kind of step up and do do all the right things that lead to what's coming up okay. later on so it's 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 an interesting period right now we we need to be very focused and not think too much about that but definitely we can win keep on going believe yeah. <laughs> in what you do it's so, like a coach Matty Cannon <laughs> it is, it's, you get to yeah I, I got it year now so yeah. now you get a little <laughs> <laughs> hypnotized you know? yeah definitely yeah. and um, let's talk about against Katz see the team is since October in the in the top five you know there are eight games to go what need to be done to stay in the top five or maybe even climb a bit higher well like I said to uh, it's very important now to to stay in this top five but also to to build for what's coming next which is uh, for us even more important uh, so we need to and that starts with the system we have that we have to be tight defensively we have to work harder than every team out there so it's it's those things that start with now and we had a, like I said build confidence and I think from the games we've seen the last last weeks uh, I think we've done a lot of good, good things that builds this positive energy in the team, and and to keep on, keep on with that. So, when the most important games are coming later on, we we have the confidence and the, the stability to to win those games. So, it starts now with yeah. This is the start of everything, actually. Yeah. It seems like you and the team is hungry for more wins oh, and more championships. Definitely, okay. for sure. We're not here to, <laughs> to finish fifth. No, we're here to win. So uh, there's no doubt. We, okay. That's what we want. Okay, Lars. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. It was so much fun. Thank you. Thank you. Also, very sympathetic. Lars Hogan, hopefully, bald wieder gesund.